um cheerios without the honey nut honestly bro you're a psychopath i'm sorry yo what's poppin everyone welcome to the out of bluff channel what i got for y'all today is not really like you know like a tier list or anything like that this is just more of a ranking <coughs> <coughs> yeah my bad it's more of a ranking instead of a tier list and it's just gonna be ranking on what your favorite cereal is and based on what your favorite cereal is is what category that you're gonna go into so just a brief let's go over this categories right quick cultured of course where you got fine exquisite taste you know what good cereal is babe basic that uh, you just picked the basic picks bro you you just simple man it's all cool ain't nothing wrong with it sometimes i like to be basic uh sweet tooth this is bro if you, you got like jittering teeth and you just need some sugar or something like that and Bro, I, I don't know. Bro. You need to go to the dentist a lot. You definitely got a cavity or a five. Um, psychopath, self-explanatory. These are the people that obviously pour milk in before cereal. Um, they're very questionable people. But those are all the those are all the little categories. You can decide on which one that you think is what. But I'm gonna let you know right now. If your favorite cereal goes in goes into one of these categories and that's just what i think that you are basically you can let me know in the comments down below afterwards but let's go ahead and get started with apple jacks honestly apple jacks are pretty fucking basic bro i ain't gonna lie to you they're pretty basic a lot of people don't really pick them either they're more kind of like you know like unicorn but the taste and everything for it is just basic i'm sorry they're pretty good I got some Apple Jacks over there in the kitchen, you know, like the little bag. Got me some of those. Uh, they got the old recipe. Now with this new one with the non non dreads. Uh, next one is Captain Crunch with the berries, bro. I'm adding the regular Captain Crunch inside of this too. I like both of them. If you if Captain Crunch is like your main cereal, I can fully understand it, bro. Based as fuck. Dude, this cereal is actually really good. It's hella slept on. That's all it really is. Um, Cheerios without the honey nut? Honestly, bro, you're a psychopath. I'm sorry. You're, you're this. I'm not going to say that you're a full-blown psychopath because I can see older people doing this for, like, you know, I guess cholesterol reasons and stuff like that. But the honey honey nut Cheerios is definitely way better than, I don't know, what, the, what these things are. So let's go ahead and get that straight. You're a psychopath. I expect you to do something that is fucking crazy. Um, if you're eating rice checks as cereal, you're also a psychopath. Stop, stop messing with your life. These are obviously chips. Stop playing and go ahead and make some checks mix or something like that. Or make little chocolate desserts or whatever, bro. Stop. Don't stop putting these in cereal. All right. Um, cinnamon toast crunch by far i think is the best cereal but i'm not gonna put like you know a best on this category but this is my personal best i think if you like cinnamon toast crunch you're definitely cultured cinnamon toast crunch is a banger uh cocoa pebbles honestly i'm sorry based off of this picture that i found you had to be a psychopath or it's either that or a sweet tooth but i do think that Cocoa Pebbles is more of like a kid's kind of like, you know, cereal. So I will say it's more along the lines of like a sweet tooth type of thing. I just hate soggy cereal. It's, it's, it's weird. I don't like the texture, but they're obviously not using this for cereal. So they obviously have a sweet tooth. And the fact that this, because I didn't, I don't scroll down a lot for Google pictures, but you get like the first four rows and that's it. This was in the first four rows. 100% bro, sweet tooth. Um, Cocoa Puffs, honestly, 
it's another sweet tooth even though that bird is a literally a psychopath the bird itself is a psychopath but the cereal is just that's meant for kids that's another one that's meant for kids with the chocolate milk and shit like that <coughs> cookie crisp uh you're a psychopath burrito i know that you you said that you like these you're a psychopath cornflakes um honestly is is the only people that eat cornflakes let's be honest is old people old people are the only ones that eat cornflakes and it's just a basic staple for them i'm sorry but like that's just that's just how they are cornflakes can just stay there it's hella basic it's it's the start of a lot of these cereals anyways um count chocula now i don't i haven't tried this in years <laughs> in like years years but i will say that that cereal was fucking sweet i don't know what it is about chocolate cereal and it just being just dumb sweet bro you got a sweet tooth if you like count chocula because first of all there's no other way that you thought of picking up this box and trying it out over all the other boxes even though all the other ones that are chocolate you decided to get this clown ass motherfucker okay yeah you got a sweet tooth One hundred percent sweet tooth. Um, frosted flakes, bro. One hundred percent basic. Basic, bro. Fruit loose is basic too, bro. These, these are like if you don't have frosted flakes, you were eating fruit loops. All right, you was eating one or the other, bro. It, you had one or the other in your house, even though your favorite cereal might have been one of these or like Lucky Charms or Tricks or something like that growing up. Just know that you, for some reason, you always had either Fruit Loops or Frosted Flakes in your in your shit. Like you, you've eaten this cereal, at least <coughs> for cereal eaters, you've you've eaten this cereal at least probably like five times every year of your life. Let's be honest. I'm just saying. Um, honestly, I hate soggy cereal but i can understand the fruity pebbles love fruity pebbles is beyond beyond better than cocoa pebbles so i will give y'all that i just hate i hate soggy cereal that's just me personally but i will still say that you know you're pretty cultured if you like fruity pebbles so i'm not gonna put my little bias into that i know a lot of people like fruity pebbles and i can get behind the taste because like if you make this into like a rice krispie treat fire add it throw eddie in there with that treat fire so yeah bro i'm definitely culture i just don't like soggy cereal um it's fucking psychopath bullshit on my face honey honey bunches of oats no bro just go eat oatmeal what fuck yeah and and plus i don't like hard cereal like it can't be too soggy and it can't be too hard, bro. I don't, I don't get how people like honey bunches of oats. Every time I hear somebody like chewing on it, it sounds like they're just grinding their teeth or they're eating gravel. Like they picked up a block of cement and started chewing it. That's what the fuck honey bunches of oats people sound like whenever they eat. I hate it with a passion. They have to be psychopaths. Um, I don't know what level of strength that their teeth is on. It needs to be examined because it's crazy uh honey nut cheerios it's a it's another b -b basic bro. it's another basic i i personally like it this is one of the cereals that i go to if i want to be basic it's either honey nut cheerios or frosted flakes me personally uh honeycombs honestly honeycombs is kind of hard to put somewhere <clears throat> you don't really see a lot of people have honeycombs like as their favorite cereal but it does sound like some psychopath shit to have in the first place because you really decided to pick honeycombs and for these cereals to be this big they're like fucking sponges and i hate fucking soggy cereal 
So people that like big fucking soggy things in their mouth is a psychopath. And I'm leaving a ditty on. <coughs> um, life, honestly, <coughs> ain't, ain't life kind of like uh, similar to like rice checks or something like that? I think it's another thing that like you're not really supposed to be actually eating cereal with. Get away from the trash can. My dog tried to get in the trash can. He sniffed it a little bit too much for me. But yeah, no. Just 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 make just make some fucking I don't know, some checks mix, nigga. Damn. Why you eating this as a cereal? Lucky Charms is an obvious sweet tooth. I think it's probably the top of sweet tooth. Uh Nobody eats Lucky Charms for the actual cereal. Bro, you literally eat Lucky Charms for the marshmallows. This is like the definition of a sweet tooth fucking person. Like, 100% Lucky Charms is like the all winning, the all winner for this fucking category. It's 100% a sweet tooth. 110% a sweet tooth. <clears throat> uh, mini wheats. Honestly, I'm not a fan of them, but I've seen a lot of people actually eat mini wheats. So I will say it's more of a basic. I wouldn't really say in psychopath, not with the rest of these fucking weird ass motherfuckers. Pops goes in there as well, too. I'm sorry, bro. Only only country. I've only seen country people buy pops and they're the crazy ones, too. You can keep that. <coughs> <coughs> Raisin Bran. I fucking I can't fucking stand Raisin. Raisin bread. I hate raisins, bro. If you like raisins, you're a psychopath. In my eyes, bro. Just go eat some grapes, nigga. Damn. Eating these fucking sun dried grapes. It's all wrinkled up and shit. It look nasty. And then the cereal itself look nasty. And then uh, how you gonna have the cereal milk not taste good, bro? Yeah, bullshit out my face. Uh, obviously a psychopath with horrible taste buds like as their as their name as their main number one cereal. Uh Reese's Puff. Reese's Puff. <laughs> Great fucking cereal, but I swear, bro, these shits are sweet as fuck. Yeah, yeah, you have to have some type of sweet tooth. I won't say anything bad about it. I like Reese's Puff, but you definitely have to have a sweet tooth. Like I, I have to be fucking my teeth have to be clacking for me to be like, let's get some Reese's Puff. Rice Krispies is a basic, uh, let's be honest about the Rice Krispies. Ain't nobody really eating these shits plain, bro. I, if you get Rice Krispies, I know 100% for a fact. You gonna take a spoon, scoop some sugar, and throw some sugar up in that bitch. Swirl it around. I used to be fucking that shit up as a kid, boy. But yeah, it's a basic, it's a basic though. Last but not least, tricks, 100% cultured. I'm not talking about, well, the tricks nowadays with the little circle balls are not really the same. I'm talking about like tricks with the shapes. Let's be honest, tricks with the shapes is fire and they still have them. Is that a fucking, did I put the, I didn't even put the cereal on here. This is the fucking tricks bar that I got the picture of. I didn't even realize that. I was too gone out of my mind, but uh, the tricks with the original shapes is still in the stores. I'm not sure if they put them back in a box or not. Just know the original flavor, the original recipe is in the bags. Get the bag tricks. It may look ghetto, but that has the original recipe. But just know, cultured as fuck, bro. These shits were a banger. The strawberry milk afterwards is so good. I can go ahead and buy that in a carton, though. That's all the cereals that I have. If I missed your cereal, let me know in the comments of what y'all think that it should be at. And just because it's your main cereal too, doesn't mean that you can just put it up in cultured or something like that. Let's be honest here. Think about all the people that actually eat that cereal. But y'all let me know. Peace.